Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pulp, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Minecraft Showcase, the series where I take a look at some of the awesome projects built on the Planet Minecraft community and share them with you guys so that you can learn about them and learn about their existence and also um, sometimes be convinced to go download them for yourself and have a look. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different and I'm, I'm pretty excited for, for this video to come out. Actually, I put a lot of work into it and, uh, and I'm pretty happy with the result, to be honest. Uh, today we're going to be showcasing a build by uh, Guzono titled Ono City, named after himself. Uh, Guzono is more active on Planet Minecraft and on Instagram, but he also has a YouTube page that he just started. And I encourage you to check out the links to all three in the description uh, down below. Um, the project is available for download on the Planet Minecraft page, and I encourage you also to download the project for yourself and just check out some of the great things um, of the project. Um, this project is so detailed that I, I wasn't able to actually look at the details of the project itself. And I chose to to go a different route in this project because of its sheer size. And it's such an incredible project and, and, and really something that I've never uh, experienced in this game on this such a large scope by for one individual player to have done. Um, so as you can see, we're taking a more cinematic type of approach to this video. Um, I, I wanted to try something out and see what you guys thought about it. So we're, we're taking the, the actual content, uh, video content of this video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Uh, so let me know what you think about that in the comments uh, down below. But uh, for the actual information about the city, there isn't a huge amount uh, of, of lore or anything like that. And, and uh, Guzono, I, I hope he's saying his name, I hope I'm saying his name right. But Guzono is always seems to be, have always been a builder. More focused on the builds as opposed to the lore, um, which is a little bit of an, a contrast compared to the last one video um, where we had a lot of really interesting lore. Uh, so today, the builds will ultimately speak for themselves, but there is a little bit of a description uh, to the project, so I'll, I'll definitely read that to you guys. Uh, so as I said, the name of the build of this project is Ono City, and um, he, Guzono has been working on this city for about eight years. Uh, it's always something that will be anything but 100% complete as he continuously decides to expand it more. Most of the buildings are designed by Guzono, uh, but some are based on actual towers, and a few are almost accurate copies of real-life towers. So far, there are over 200 skyscrapers, an airport, a maglev train station, a monorail system, and an uncountable number of residential areas, shops, food places, and public service buildings in the city. And, and so something that's pretty crazy about this project is it's built, um, it's built all by one person. And, and when you look at the vast sheer project and, and the, the quality of it uh, i just take an overview of the project like i said i don't really go into the details i don't even explore the entire build uh itself or the entire city itself and you can just sort of see the the care but also the the quality of of the builds there's a good variety um the residential neighborhoods which you saw earlier were something that i found really interesting it's an interesting concept in general uh for for the uh project and, and as you can see there's there's a lot of really cool uh, different intricate details from from buildings each each building you can tell has its own unique purpose and it, but it all ties together and they're they're different styles but they all work together really well and obviously you have the the prominent white orange color contrast along with the green of uh of obviously the grass as well as the uh the trees in the area uh but it but it definitely as a whole works uh works really really well and and so when i saw this project I, i've been following this project for quite a while on instagram and when i noticed that it was also on the uh, the Planet Minecraft community. I, I figured I had no other option really uh, than to showcase this. I, I'm trying to showcase some of the best projects that I can find on there. And, and truly this is probably, um, if not the greatest, definitely top three best projects I've been able to find on this, uh, on, on the community. It's a truly amazing project. And, and the great thing about this is that it's been eight years in the making, but it doesn't have any signs of stopping either. And that's something that I find uh, really cool and really, unique uh, about this project is a lot of these bigger projects you have really vast builds built usually by multiple people uh, and then they sort of are finished and then that's it and then they're either sold or they're used for a server or they're used for something whereas this is just Guzono building because he wants to build and any sort of po uh, popularity or publicity that comes from it he he takes and he's happy and appreciative of it but it's not like that's his purpose uh, it's not like that's what he's doing the project for and, and that's something that is really pure and really goes back to the roots of this game, which is just building for your own enjoyment. And so that's one of the reasons why I felt like I had to showcase this video. And I really wanted to do it in a way that that gave this project the the value it deserved. And, and I hope that 
Gujono himself thinks I did it justice, and I thank him again for letting me showcase the, the builds, but I also hope that you guys think I did it justice, and I wanted to do this as a sort of an experiment for a ways to... Uh, a ways to do different videos in the future, maybe Planet Mi or maybe uh, building Toronto videos, and, and obviously these Planet Minecraft showcases as well, with this more cinematic angle that I think looks pretty good and, and sort of helps capture a lot of the great details and great, um, great basically overarching um, design features of, of projects like you see here. And, and so as, as we sort of just fly around the map and take a look at the different uh, sort of neighborhoods and how they all tie together. Um, I, I just sort of appreciate this build and I don't really know I don't have too much more to say about it other than that um, and this was one time where like usually when I build these things I have the story and and occasionally because these builds a lot of times are super detailed that I showcase in these videos but not super large I actually run out of content uh, video content to talk about before I'm done talking about what I thought about the build and, and my intro and my sort of thoughts on the build and all that kind of stuff um, whereas in this case I, I didn't have enough stuff to talk about for this build and, and showcase all the stuff. And that's why we're not actually looking at the whole city. Um, because I didn't think it would be fair to just sort of take a look at somebody else's project and have graphics of somebody else's project and I not provide any commentary on top. That would sort of be um, unfair. And so really, this is what I sort of thought were some of my favorite neighborhoods of the city. I had a good overview of all of them. I, I say this every video, but I, I feel like I want to really, really emphasize it here. I really encourage you guys to go and check out this project for yourself. Whether it be in creative or you even turn it into... I, I don't think this is a world that's suitable for survival, but just, just come onto the map and explore it for yourself. And it's truly one of the most unique and one of the most uh, well-built projects that I've ever really seen on this game. And I, I really want to credit Guzono for, for his great work. It was... Uh, it's really an inspiration to see how far you can go just working by yourself even and, and so it's almost an inspiration to, to you know the bigger projects i have on my channel to really work on them and try and get them to the level that this amazing project is um but that is going to be everything for this video thank you again to guzono for letting me showcase it on my channel and i encourage you guys to check out all three of his instagram his planet minecraft and his youtube uh, if you're a new viewer and you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave or be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, be sure to leave a like and share the channel with some of your friends as we continue to grow this community. And uh, yeah, that is everything. So thank you guys very much for watching. This has been a Planet Minecraft Showcase video. My name is Gamefruit Pulp, and I will catch you guys all next time. Have a good one.